While filming in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the Tomorrow's World Today team visited the Pittsburgh Glass Center. Over the last 20 years, the Pittsburgh Glass Center has grown to be one of the premier glass facilities in the United States. We spoke to Heather McAwee, the executive director, about their current exhibit, Undefined, featuring artists from the Netflix series, Blown Away. So our current exhibition is called Undefined, and it is three artists who were finalists on the Netflix reality show Blown Away. So if you haven't seen Blown Away, it's a really cool way to get to understand how glass making works. Uh, and these three artists were interested in doing a, a collaborative exhibition. Uh, so they were in residence in the fall of 2022, where they made work for the new show. So John Sharvin, Minhee England, and John Moran have a three-person show in the gallery called Undefined. We talked to the three artists in residence about their work and inspiration. I kind of have two bodies of work that I've been working on for the show. Uh, the first being work inspired by space and personal stories to me. I use space a lot uh, as my like safe place to go imagination, you know, my imagination goes to. Um, and I wanted to pull in some personal stories to incorporate into those space scenes. And they're kind of fantastical, you know, mystery fantasy worlds that I've created for myself. You know, they're snippets rather than uh, full stories. And so it really gives the chance for the viewer to go exploring into this universe that I created. There's a lot of discovery that happens with all these miniatures and everything that's in the work. There's a lot of detail that you have to get really up close to really view and get interactive with. When I'm creating my work, I think a lot about the process. So what I'm doing when I'm making multiples in particular is I make a form, a cage form out of copper wire, and I'll make it exactly the same every single time. But what happens when I take that form into the hot shop and I blow glass into it, it suddenly kind of does what it wants to do. And I think there's something really magical about that. There's something that relates to everyday life. We plan far and ahead. We try to control certain aspects so that we can predict what's going to happen. So I'm referencing this notion of control or the lack thereof when I'm creating my multiples. Um, there are small nuances and slight variations and differences from piece to piece, even though I'm doing exactly the same thing every single time. So this sculpture is called Yearning to Breathe, and um, basically it starts from this place that I've been working with in a lot of my work. I moved to Belgium 10 years ago. Before that, I lived in China for a year and a half, and kind of dealt with this like you know immigration as like a middle-class white guy and it is not easy like when you go somewhere you're discovering everything new and that really made me think about like how not only our country but a lot of the countries treat immigrants and this idea of immigration that like when you come somewhere it's because you're coming for a better life but no matter whatever happens you're always kind of bound to home so that's what this piece is really about this like leaving home and then trying to find your new path. So the title Yearning to Breathe actually comes from the New Colossus, uh, the poem that's on the, the Statue of Liberty. That's what all the immigrants saw, but at the same time you would enter the country and then you have to sign and say no blacks, no Italians, no Irish. So there's this kind of dichotomy that exists that I know is part of American society, but it's something that exists worldwide as well. So Undefined will be on view until the end of July, so we hope everyone will get a chance to stop by and see it because I think it will really challenge your expectations of what you imagine with glass. For more information, visit tomorrowsworldtoday.com.